Hello everyone and welcome to EGFH Fall 2019, a week four for Rocket League. Today we have a best of five match between the Sheehan Titans and the Ludlow Falcons. I of course want to thank our wonderful sponsors, the Yukon School of Engineering and the Yukon Gaming Club for helping make this season possible. My name is Kevin Navicast Dignan and I'm going to be solo casting for the first few games as, our co as my co-caster had some few technical issues. So we're going to be getting into those games really, really quickly now. And I'm looking forward to everybody. Yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing these two teams play. The Titans, of course, this being their first year, seeing them play every single week and improve is really, really, really good. And uh, yeah, as we get into this now, it should be interesting. I feel like if the Titans play to their full ability, we should have a very, very good game. And as long with that, we've got the Falcons who have been with us multiple seasons now so that is also a pleasure to see and as we transition into the start of the game now this match is starting off we have the falcons here in the orange and the titans over in the blue uh janify who we saw most of the uh, mostly a new falcons team coming up from last season or from last season as well so both these teams fairly new together and as we're working it out again kicking it off to the start of um yeah yeah i mean Ah, I'm very frantic. It's been a very, 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 very busy day today. But Zao, as we have started referring to them as, because trying to say Zao to Zarius each time is uh, a little bit awkward. Zao managed to get a nice clear off there. Type the god as well. A lot coming back off. A lot of this time at the moment. Not too many. Goal, no goals at the moment. That's a nice looking shot there from Zao, but not going to be able to find the goal that he was looking for, unfortunately. Yeah, as a lot of back and forth coming out. Janify, oh, getting a nice little bounce, trying to redirect it towards the goal there, but unfortunately isn't going to be able to. Bop, bopping it about, trying to set it up. Simply Gaming looking for something. Not going to be able to find it. Janify intercepting it here, trying to keep the um, Titans off of the ball as they're going back and forth at the moment we're getting it past one defender a nice little chip makes a look for something here fades away the janify falling for the bait as well this type of god here kicks it into the back there has the boost looking to play it patiently slowing it down a little bit going for the run there janify in the air we've seen last season or last week as well uh, no i believe two weeks ago janify's ability in the air is absolutely ludicrous there's Really, really good aerial control. Really, really good aerial dominance coming out from him. And that's what we want to be seeing because it forces all of the other players to practice those out to be able to get ahead of them. So, again, improving everybody across the league. And that, that's, that's always a good thing. Bop knocking, I believe, that was tight the god away from the ball. So, Janify looks to run it down. Getting the rebound. Not going to be able to find it, though. As Mixo gets a great read here. I'm loving that all of the Titans here in their green colors as well decided this is the color we're going to rock as a team. Oh, okay, a bit um, centering the ball there. Janify having it. Mixo trying to intercept it there. Janify knocking it away. Trying to get it to his team. Type the god looking to take a shot onto the goal there, but it does get redirected. I mean, there's so much back and forth at the moment. The goal's actually empty. Is Janify manages to score that first goal. Oof, that was that was an incredibly unfortunate situation there. Both of the Titan players trying to get boost, and as they went for it, they just couldn't find the connection. Coming in now. Oof. Coming into the second goal. Two minutes. That was half of a round for, uh, almost of absolutely no goals coming. Or actually, yeah, half the game there were no goals until that first goal coming out from the Falcons here. So, again, this is a best of five series. So, there's plenty of Rocket League to be had for today. Oh, as we see a lot. We see it almost looking like a second goal coming out from the Falcons there, but unfortunately, they aren't able to find it. As there's a bit of a blunder coming out from Bob there. Type the God sees it and capitalizes on that, managing to even it out 1-1. Oof, that was... Yeah, I mean, there was a bit of a mistake there by Bob. Couldn't quite hit the ball how he wanted there. Type the God said, wait, I can just, I can just roll it in. That's exactly what happened as we are going in to the third kickoff of this first game there. Hitting it into the side of the Titans here. They managed to clear it out back into center field. Trying to get it away to their goal. Here we go in deep into Falcon territory as our first demolition, as I always like to say, of the game comes out there with Zhao onto... Oh, wait a minute. All right, Janify there. He's doing some fancy footwork, but that was Zhao onto Simply Gaming. Excuse me. Um, and yeah, I mean, there's a lot. Oh, the goal's empty again. Okay, but fortunately, both these teams are playing so aggressive. This is the most we've left. We've seen goals be left unguarded, I believe. Every week, they're both playing 
we've got both teams who are playing so aggressively that neither of them are defending as much as long as they should be, really. In fact, they got trying to get ahead there, but doesn't have the boost here as Bob has it. Janify, Janify taking it, misses the aerial. Type the God being right underneath in there, waiting to capitalize on that mistake. Again, though, Bob, or Boop, however you want to pronounce it, manages to clear that out a little bit here. As we're just playing in this back right corner, back left corner on the Falcon side. And as the shot gets taken out by Type the God, they're straight into the goal again. Bringing the Titans a goal lead with just over a minute left onto the clock. I mean, what else can you say, really? Like, this this is not looking good for the Falcons now. It took them two, two minutes, ten seconds, roughly. Two, yeah, just over two minutes to uh, score their first goal. And now being a goal down, a minute left on the clock, they really need to push on into overtime here. Try and, try and quite literally bring it into overtime. A lot of, a lot of, a lot of, Dead, oh, like the ball just dead in the air there, kind of getting hit from all directions, staying fairly stationary as Zao here goes for the aggression, gets a lovely shot, and that might just go straight to the goal, tapped by, tapped, or tapped by, tapped by type the god, uh, that was, yeah, tapped by type the god, and not being able to find the connection here, as Zao is just kind of bit bopping in boot, type looking for it again, isn't going to be able to find it, but does stop boot from getting it, as a shot is made by Zao, a little bit far to the left, unfortunately, for him, though, type the god, though, again, playing super patiently they're just kind of constantly battering at their goal there's there's not they, they managed to make give themselves some space to breathe at the moment for a while there that was looking very precarious as 10 seconds left onto the clock as we're going to see the countdown coming out and like we say the game doesn't end on one until the ball touches the ground so this will be the falcons trying to keep the ball into the air they go for a shot bob here managed to get it they're going to try and not let it touch the ground and unfortunately, Bob doesn't isn't able to find that connection as the game one does go to the Xi'an Titans. I mean, what a what a good game one that was. That was nice and close. And uh, yeah, I mean that that was a that was a very close game coming out. Um, it could have gone either way for a good while there, but it did end up going in favor of the Titans, and that's. That's the name of the game sometimes. Sometimes you think you're you're ahead and you're going to do absolutely fine. And next thing you know, you're two goals down. In this case, it was one goal. But you know what I mean. Oof. So as we prepare to get into this next round, we could be seeing the Falcons coming back with a vengeance. And uh, yeah, as the teams are just verifying that we do this now. Oof. Uh, coming into game two with, again, the Ludlow Falcons against the Xi'an Titans. And once again, like always, I just want to thank our wonderful sponsors, the Yukon School of Engineering and the Yukon Gaming Club. They're just, they're just great, you know what I mean? Yukon, Yukon's great, they've supported us for a long time, and that's what we like to see, is we are now getting into game two. Ooh, I'm, I'm honestly, I'm not sure where this could go. This could go either way. This could go, the Falcons could bring it. We could get a game five of Rocket League, and honestly... I'm all about seeing a game five, 100% amount more Rocket League. Never going to complain about that one. I don't think anybody is. As we get into the next round here, again, as always, the Titans in the blue, the Falcons in the orange. The Falcons playing a really aggressive start there. They're managing to get it past two of the defenders. Bop, not again, unfortunately, just not hitting those shots that he's looking for. Janify trying to just get it in there. Not going to be able to. Are we going to look at another two minutes of just back and forth, a lot of ball game, a lot of ping pong, or are we going to see a goal coming out from somebody right now? We're not. Oh, we, we might actually, as we see the Titans taking the shot onto their goal, and that's going to be the first goal to the Titans. 29 seconds into the round. Ooh, the Titans are on it at the moment. That is, that is exactly what they want to be seeing. A nice little splash effect there coming out from Zaldazarius as we head off into kickoff numero dos. I mean, again, this is not what the Falcons want to be seeing. The Titans are playing this so strong. They're just going straight for a shot there. Janify in the goal. If that was a connection, that might have been able to get a good fade away or a 50-50 fade. But the goal's left unopened. Mixo, oh, just managing to save it. That was incredibly close there. A little bit of a mistake or slightly too far, uh, slightly further away. And I don't know if we would have made that in time. Danify here, of course, now deciding that he needs to be sitting in the goal since his teammates aren't necessarily 
committed to defending as much as maybe he hopes. Or they. I. That, that's you know. I'm. I'm not sure. But uh, at the moment, one goal up for the Titans. We are coming into a minute and a half into the second game. I mean. The Falcons are, compared to how we saw them play last time, the Titans are doing really, really well. I mean, is this going to be goal number two? This is going to be goal number two. Is that as Arius once again? They're, uh, I mean, yeah, they're, they're doing what they want to be doing. They're scoring them goals. They're getting them leads. And there's plenty of time still left onto the clock, though, of course, for the Falcons to bring it back. So, really... Again, it's still anyone's game. Okay, a bit of a fadeaway of the kickoff there. Letting it go towards Janify. Janify gets the boost, kicks it into the center field. Type the god though, managing to intercept it, passing it towards Mixo, but Mixo maybe thinking, okay, let's get into the goal. Let's just play defensively just in case. And that is definitely the decision. Oh, I think that was definitely the right decision to be made. If Bob gets a lovely shot there, is it gonna go? It doesn't. Zaldazarius is a name that we're saying a lot currently as he makes saves and goes over and over again. This man is putting in so much work for his team. Bop here going for that long shot. No, oh, okay, type the god, managing to stop it. Zaldazarius clearing it into the center field. All three of the Titans going for that there as Shanify does stop the goal from going in. I mean, I think they're showing that all three of the Titan players are confident in the air. Maybe they don't have the technical finesse that Janify does, but when you have all three players who are willing to go for those aerial commitments, it, it kind of outweighs the one the one really, really good aerial player. Oh, and Bolt hits, sitting in goal, plays it out towards Janify. Janify boosts towards it, tries to go right behind him, mix, so getting the intercept, Bop there. Immediately retaliating. Oh, a bit of a bounce coming out from Janify, trying to find something happening here. Woo! A lot of back and forth coming out. Mixo looking to try and set it up. Passing it to Type the Guard and Type the Guard. Trying to make a shot there, but doesn't quite get the angle that he was looking for. Oh, Janify trying to catch it up. Desperately looking for a goal to bring his team into the running a little bit further here. Along with his teammates, Janify trying to intercept it going a bit. A bit, a bit too much overcommitment with the boost there. A bit of an overread. As we do just see the Titans again just pressuring the Falcons constantly into one of their corners. Ooh. I'm in. Oh. Um, Alright, here we go. Oh, pop, bouncing it. Simply looking for something that gets hit as nobody's in the goal again. Zavis Arius is going to be able to find the third goal for his team. I mean, Zavis Arius, again, I keep saying his name, is. He's earned his full name at this point. I feel like I can't just call him Zal. He is, he is killing it with his gameplay today. One minute 30 left on this block. Oof. I mean, when you're three goals up and there's like a minute, twi uh, a minute 20 left onto the clock, it's very, very hard to come back. Do you decide that it's just garbage time at this point and just kind of mentally reset and hope that you can get the three wins in a row? I think maybe you do. As Janify here tries to... I mean, there, there you go. Sorry, that completely had a brain freeze for a second there. That was a lovely pass from Janify. Getting it to Bop. Bop managing to score and get, bring it to a goal. Maybe, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe they try and run it back 3-3. 30 seconds a goal. That's completely manageable. Put it left on the clock as the buzzer was just saying here. And again, the Falcons, if they have any chance to bring this back, need to apply so much pressure right now. And that looks to be exactly what they're doing, is the ball does kind of get sent itself. Bob's going for it. Bob gets it. Goes past to get the second goal. Are they going to be able to bring this back to an overtime with a minute left onto the clock? Oof. I mean... Jesus. All right, coming in, coming in now. Mixo managing to get a pull there. Bop going into the center. Bop's looking to try and make this one happen for his teammates. Saying it up time after time. Simply gaming here, trying to set it or trying to clear it up. But again, every second that the Titans managed to waste away is a really valuable second for 
the um, Falcons as the demolition from Mixo comes out onto Janify there. They know that they need to be dealing with these players to get it past the defenders into the air. A good rebound hit. Simple Gaming trying to go for it. I'm going to be able to find it. I want to see this happen. I want to see the Falcons here bring this to an overtime. I think that would be an absolutely phenomenal way for game two to at least go into overtime, not even to end. But unfortunately, it looks like the dream's dead, boys. As we are going to see that ball touch in the ground. Game two going towards the Sheehan Titans. I mean, what what can you say in that situation? That was that looked like that wasn't going to occur, and then out of nowhere, the Falcons got two goals, and then. Whew, that was that was real pog that was real real pog as we get into game three now i'm hoping we i'm hoping we see something like that again i think the falcons are are finally starting to get revved up they're starting to get ready be able to play it out and we are going to be getting into game three momentarily now Whew. Uh, so hopefully we get that sorted out very very soon uh, oh as I do believe we have tugboat now sorted out uh, I'm just gonna uh, yeah I'm just gonna get we're just gonna get tug in on the mic now so here we are tug you're on the mic how are you you all sorted now all the way Ready yeah, to go. Sorry about that. That's absolutely fine, my man, as we get in to game three with the Sheehan Titans up two rounds. Gotcha. Yeah, okay. So a little bit of a, a little bit of difference. We are no strangers to these teams, the Falcons and the Titans, by any means. Last week, um, I do believe we saw a more uh, pr pretty even match. Is that correct? Um, last week, we weren't watching these two teams. We were watching the Titans play uh, against... Um... I believe oh, it was the experiment. Uh, uh, the, it might be the pioneers. Yep, experimenters. I think that's who it was. Uh, and yeah, getting into this right now. I mean, yeah, like I said, Tug, the Titans are up two games at the moment. So, whew. yeah, it's gonna be a tall order to come back from that one. Um, we really see. I mean, these teams have been really, really going at it so far uh, here in the EGF weekly games. Um, and defense like that has been very prominent throughout. Yeah, I mean, here we go. I mean, again, the name that we've been saying throughout this cast has been Zaldazarius. As this man has been putting in so much work for the Titans over and over again, along with Mix on Type of the God. They've really been making it happen, but this is what I mean. He comes out of nowhere and scores a goal. Yeah, uh, hey, uh, if, a, uh, if a ball spends that much time in front of a goal, especially putting it up several times like that, look at this. We saw Taipa de Guy, we saw Zalta, and uh, Mixu, all, all blue players, all right in front of this goal. We didn't really see uh, any members of the other side really up there, like, really, you know, going after the ball. Yeah, I mean, whew, being able to get a goal up nice and early as well. This has been the name of the game for the last couple of games, except for game one. Game one. We saw the Falcons taking the first goal, but that was two and a half minutes into the round, so... It's it, a little it bit of a slower much, game on that. Yeah, the, t the tempo of it all very much swung the background to the Titans once they started scoring a few goals. Yeah, and these are the Falcons really just trying to get this ball out and from away from the, you know their goal here. Uh, this is on track to be a kind of another slower game. One goal now so far in the first 90 seconds, but uh, that is not for lack of trying. This is the Titans all over this one. We have several different shots already. Yeah, no, 100%, I 100% agree with you that one. The Titans are all over this one. Oh. But they managed to get the second goal there. Mixo just sneaking it in. That, that was that was a nice slow ball coming out there, managing to get it past all of the Falcon defenders there. Just literally just rolled it in. Yeah, I want to want to point that out again. Where were the Falcons on this one? They were all over on the side. You do not have one actually in goal. You know, when you have all three players there, it's really going to minimize your chances to be able to get a good block in here, especially against a team like these Titans. And there's going to be goal number three coming out from Zadazarius. Once again, no Falcons to be seen anywhere near the front of this goalpost. You know, not, not anywhere between the two of them. Now, Xanify was up there and was trying to take away from them, you know, aerially. But at the end of the day, your best bet is going to have going to be having a player, you know, in between those two goalposts. Yeah, I mean, again, though, three goals are... 
like I said last game, right, this was a very similar situation to what we saw last game for the Falcons. The Titans were three goals up, but there was, the difference was, there was like a minute on the clock, and they managed to get two goals in that minute. So three goals is 100% possible for them to find in these next three minutes, unless we see the Titans getting a fourth goal. Yeah, unless we see them scoring goal after goal after goal here. Titans not willing to let this up for even a second. Now, I, I will say that this time we did have Falcons players in the goal post, but they just weren't really set up. They're kind of turned to different, uh, turned to different angles, not optimal ones to try and block this ball. Yeah, I mean, that was... That, that, that is unfortunate for the Falcons. As it looks like we might see a fifth goal coming out from the left side. They got hit in the goal. Core not quite getting it there. I mean, goal number five is, is pretty nail in the coffin. That's that's fair. Now I will say, like I've always said, you know, if one team has scored that in the you know the first half before it hits 230, there's always the opportunity to hit that in that second half of the game. But we're gonna have to see a Falcons team that plays completely differently if they want to come up here and tie four goals up, and that is not the way to do it. I mean, like I've been saying, that's a nice little splash effect coming out from Dallas Arias because we've been seeing it a lot. I remember you uh, you had a, a really high penchant for the uh, for last week's just like the understated, just like little. Boop. They just like you oh, know comes in there. Of smoke. Nice. Yeah, no, that yeah. was great. Yeah, comes in hard, but uh, gives you a little bit less than what you expected. Yeah, I mean, that that's. I mean, yeah, that's that, that's a statement to be made. It is a, I believe that's a fourth demolition. Fifth demolition comes out from Zaldas Arias. They've been playing really, really aggressively, really, really well, and the Falcons have just kind of crumbled under the pressure. Yeah, you can say that again. I mean, with Zalta coming forth and demolishing two thirds of the team within a couple seconds of each other, now you do have that three second respawn on there. But uh, that's uh, quite literally going to take a couple players out of the game, especially when they only have three. Ball control has been all the way of the Titans so far. Yeah, I mean, at the moment, it's it's not looking good for the Falcons. I believe this might be a 3 0. What, one minute 30 left onto the clock. That's what. Out. 15, 20 seconds average a shot uh, for a goal. Yeah, yeah it, it's, it's, it's possible. It's 100% uh, possible. It could happen, but it is getting more unlikely and unlikely by the second. Ooh, side to God here, finding that demolition on Stanify as Zaldas Arias quickly gets the ball away from their goal. Going for a nice little aerial there, oh, almost manages to make that and carry it all the way to the goal. Stanify here now stealing the ball and immediately stolen back by Side God. And this has been the name of the game. As soon as the Falcons seem to get any control of the ball, it's immediately been taken by the Titans. Yeah, that was really great position by Bop on there to be able to receive that ball and move it on down the field, but now getting aggressive with. Uh, I mean, with the setup after having you know, really great ball control coming back out. Now that's simply game and getting a little bit of uh, you know re revenge of his own. Too high! Oh, oh. wow! An, an amazing aerial shot by Bop there. We saw that uh, previously when we've seen this player play, but uh, kind of not necessarily outplaying type of God. He just didn't seem to have the boost to uh, to get back up there. And there's the understated puff that you had, right? Yeah. <laughs> As we get into the next kickoff here, a lot of pressure coming out for the Falcons for a second there. It looked like they, they just three man committed for that ball. And still it ends up in their side of the field. Um yeah, the Falcons uh, I mean, they had they had to go with the three-man push, full court press, as they say in basketball, because you are uh, running out of time here now with four shots. That's five seconds per goal. Again, technically possible, but I think that is becoming less and less possible every second. I noticed that a second ago. I think this game is effectively over though at 12 seconds. Yeah, I mean, 10 seconds left onto the clock. I I don't see much opportunity here for the Falcons to be able to win this one, and we are going to wrap it up as a 3-0 victory to the Sheehan Titans. I appreciate you coming on for that last game, Tug. I know you had some technical difficulties getting onto the mic, but you managed to get there in the end. Yes, sir. I was here for the last game, right? The most exciting of them. Yeah. Shein Titans 5-1, and one, man. A very dominant performance. And Shein Titans really, really put in the work there as they managed to win 3-0. Yeah, and Zalta, I mean, we've seen this team before. We'll talk a little bit about this before we let the uh, good people go. Zalta kind of showing, uh, kind of almost a jack of all trades here, right? He's got saves. He's got shots. He's got goals. He's got everything. He's got, even got himself an assist. Yeah. I mean, he's, he's, Zadazarius has been absolutely phenomenal. If we were to name an MVP of this match, it is definitely that man. Yeah, that's fair.
That's yeah. Fair. Maybe that 16 ping has something to do with it. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's very low ping, but I guess for most of them. Yeah, yeah, that's not that's not super uh, super far. Even simply, I I do believe his forty was uh, a little bit lower than that a second ago. But yeah, great game. Another uh, dominant uh, hold by the Titans. I believe they're they're now three zero in the series. Uh, they are two one. Two one. Excuse me. Excuse me. They are two one in the current series. And yeah, I mean. As per always, I just want to thank you all for tuning in with, of course, the Xi'an Titans taking the victory. You can tune in tomorrow at 4.15 for Overwatch. That was 4.15 EST. You can, as always, follow us at OfficiallyGF on Twitter and Twitch for updates and announcements. And once again, I'd like to thank our wonderful sponsors, the Yukon Gaming Club and the Yukon School of Engineering for helping make this season possible. My name has been Kevin Navicasts, and you can find me on Twitter at Navicasts. Yep, uh, Jordan Fitzpatrick, also known as FBI Tugboat. At uh, the Twitter handle would be at FBI underscore Tugboat. Pretty uh, nice and simple for you. Follow us a ways if you guys uh, enjoyed the uh, casting. I appreciate it. We'll see you tomorrow.